Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I just wanna do a quick, quick video on making sure that our printer settings are correct. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to search for your settings. And mine, when I click on this, it goes to printers and scanners, which is what I want. So I'm gonna click on that. And it makes such a huge difference. I actually have, um, I'll show you the difference if you're not picking the correct settings. All right, so when I'm in Cricut Design Space and I go to do Print and Cut, which is, I feel like that's probably how I'm gonna do most of my projects. Um, the printer that I, that I can choose from is this one. It's the Ecotank 2760 Series Network. So this is the one that I want to go and check out the settings. So I'm just gonna click on it and go to Manage. And I want to go to printer properties and this, you know, like I said, it makes a huge difference. Um, so under general, I think we're good. Let's go to preferences. Okay, here we go. Um, your letter size, if you're using, and let me go grab an ice. Sorry, I'm going to grab the demo as well. Okay, because I did my first sublimation project today and I absolutely love it of course I left the mug upstairs <laughs> but I can show you everything else I have proof that I did it um, okay so what you want to do is um, if you're using the same one that I'm using which is this one it is the a sub sublimation paper and this is on my Amazon shop so if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter i have a category for sublimation and it includes the ink which by the way i'll link to the in this um description area but i have 20 percent off for the actual hippo ink um for the sublimation ink and then it has this and the butcher paper that i use this paper and the butcher paper i thought was very reasonably priced so anyway what you want to do is you want to change the paper type to premium presentation paper matte your sublimation paper is matte it's not glossy and you can feel it and you can see it um, I don't think you can see it on here but this is what happened so this is regular and then this is when I chose premium presentation so you can see the difference you can't see much because my daughter used crayons and I wanted to see how this was gonna work. I'm testing out so many different things, but from the red, that that I feel like that's the major difference is you can see how bright and clear that red is and what a difference that makes. So let me see if that gets better. Okay. All right, so you want premium. We wanna change the quality from standard to high and then color. You wanna change double-sided printing off because that's not gonna work for sublimation printing. The, the paper has a front and back. The back actually has lines running through it, so it's, that's definitely not what we're gonna print on. We're gonna print on the front side, which again is very matte feeling. You can, it just feels dry. All right, next thing you wanna do is you want to go to more options up here in the tabs and you want to click on mirror image. I like this because when you think about it for sublimation, once you change over the ink, that printer is only good for sublimation printing, which will always need to be mirrored. And so I like having that as a printer setting, then everything else when I'm designing, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna design as is. I'm not gonna click mirror image because I'm gonna mirror image on my actual printing. So I, I did that on my test and it worked, I don't know, I really like that idea. All right, so then you click on OK and you're set. Now I'm going to switch over so that you can see my desktop, even though I didn't think I was gonna do that, but I wanna show you really quickly. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, and I wish I brought down the mug, but give me a second. I'm gonna make this really big. Oh, my thing looks so messy right now. Hold on, <laughs> let me do that so that you can't see it so well. All right, let's see here. Okay, so let me show you what you're looking at. Now this, 
I did this before I mirrored my printing. So you can see, you can read the name Charlotte and the date. This is all correct, um, like right side up, right? It didn't mirror. So I went in and I changed it when I updated everything. So the first time that I printed, this was regular quality and it was like regular copy paper. Um, and I didn't mirror the image. So the second time I went in, I wanted to show the difference. I mirrored the image so you can see like the numbers here and the name flipped over. And you can see too, because I basically took my iPhone and I have these pictures hanging on the wall with the washi tape. So that's what the red stuff is. The red stuff is the washi tape. Um, this one actually says do amazing things today. You can see it's reversed on here. And then what I did was I saved these little pieces. I'm missing one. Oh no, here it is. So this is after pressing. So basically what I did was because these are just basically rectangles, I just um, put it in my cutter and I cut it. I didn't stick it into my Cricut for it to cut rectangles. So um, I took that, I used the blue heat resistant tape to make sure that it's on my mug. So you can see the difference of how much ink went onto the, onto the mug. This is basically the same quality. This is post press with the mug, Cricut Monk Press, and this is just still on the printed sublimation paper. And then look at how much red, I mean the red is the most easy one to spot the difference. So these are the three reds. This is regular printing, high quality printing with the correct settings, and then this is post press. You can see how much ink went onto the paper. And same thing with this little guy right here. So this is her drawing up here. And this was crayon, and you know what? If you wanna just, I'm gonna run so you can see that mug, okay? Give me a second. <laughs> suspicious of what I may be editing so I just don't do it <laughs> all right so here is this one um, I can tell from looking at this this is a crayon drawing it looks great it looks very close to her actual drawing and then here this is a self-portrait that uh, that does not look like my daughter but anyway self-portrait if, if <laughs> nonetheless and here's that red that I was telling you I mean the colors I know it's glaring right now but look at the color of that red and his little um suit i mean it's just it came out so good um i would say that any issues this was just because of the crayon if you can see it came you can see like a little mark here um i think they used oil pastels and so that's partially why it looks like that but it's vibrant, I absolutely love it, and there's nothing to rub off. I really, really like it. So anyway, please leave me in comments the sublimation projects that you wanna see. Um, I am all about testing things out. The next thing that I wanna test is I did an print, um, print and cut, printable on printable, HTV, sorry, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> so I did printable HTV, the Star Wars, Star Wars birthday shirt for my daughter. What I want to do is I want to print it out on sublimation paper and press it on the same Cricut shirt and see what the difference is. So that's coming up next. I mean, I'm all about testing. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm wasting anything because we are testing for knowledge and we're all better off for it, right? That's my thinking. So let me know what you want to test out. I'm, like I said, I'm all for it. All right. Please get your sublimation printer going. This was such an easy project. I absolutely loved it and I will be doing so many more projects like this. All right, bye guys.